Welcome to Ladies Paint Night. We're so glad you're here. And after a rough start and a postponement, we're finally here in our hostess's homes having a great time. We're so glad that you're with us this evening. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you hostesses for opening up your home and providing a great time for us tonight. If you're an artist already, wonderful. We can't wait to see what you create. If you, art's not your thing, don't worry, we got you covered. Elizabeth Drake has done wonderful things and she is gonna walk you through it step by step. Our hostesses have already practiced this so they know what to do and so you're in good hands. So I hope you have a great time. I know that you're gonna bring home some wonderful memories. We're gonna have some beautiful ornaments to, to take home with us and hopefully um, some new friends or, or some wonderful uh, time of fellowship as well. So thank you so much for coming. Tonight I'm going to just tell you that we're going to have all the things provided for you, all the the ornaments and all the paint and all the supplies are taken care of and we're going to have a little time to explore our identity in Christ, just a short devotional that we're going to talk about who we are in Christ. And the cool thing is we are already a masterpiece. And we are being worked on and created by the master of all masters. The, the master of the universe who spoke the world into existence is here and he's working on you. And that is a great thing. We're going to talk about that tonight. The cool other thing about that is he who began a good work in you is faithful to complete it. That's Philippians 1.6. So... Don't you worry, God's already on the job. And we're gonna talk about that tonight. We're gonna to have exciting encouragement from God's word and we're gonna have a wonderful time painting. So I thank you all for coming. Uh, look forward to some more events, hopefully in 2021. We're gonna try some more, but uh, we'll see what God provides in that area. We love you all and we thank you for coming. Hi everyone, my name is Elizabeth Drake and I'm really glad that you guys have decided to come to paint night tonight. Um, we're excited um, that you could come. Thank you for showing up. Thank you hosts for having people in your homes. Thanks for providing snacks and um, we're just excited for some fun tonight, some creativity, some fellowship. I know it's been quite a year and we're just excited that this event gets to happen and that you guys are here. Um, we're excited to talk about a new series that we're kind of starting with Ladies Ministry about our identity in Christ, um, who we are, who Christ says that we are, and the confidence that we can have um, because we understand that we are not um, with how the world sees us, how people, we are not identified by maybe our job or, or things that have happened to us, but we're identified with um, what Christ says that we are. He says that we are loved and we are accepted and we are his um, chosen people. We are created in his image. There's just so many things that he says that we are and we can believe that wholeheartedly. And um, we're just excited to um, invest in every lady in our church and just encourage them with this information. Um, we also um, have for you guys tonight a survey to fill out. Ladies Ministry is just interested in knowing what you guys think. We want to plan activities that are relevant at times that the most people can come. And um, we just have a couple questions. It's probably six or seven questions. It'll be a quick survey. So if you guys don't mind taking a minute, your host will kind of get you set up with that. And if you don't mind taking that survey quickly so we can just have some really good information so we can plan accordingly, we would really appreciate that. The thing we're here for tonight is to make ornaments. So each of you get two ornaments. And the first one, I've um, made a video where I kind of walk with you step by step how to make it. Um, I'll introduce all the tools to you and different things like that. And then the second one, you can decide if you want to make one that's identical to it or if you want to um, make your own version of whatever it is. Um, this is a night for creativity. If you're like me, I tend to just follow the rules and I do what, um, whatever the teacher is telling me to do but some people don't like to do that and they like to make their own things and that is great too so we're here to celebrate creativity and um, just being together and having a good time so thank you for coming and enjoy your evening 
All right, so the first thing we're gonna do to get started is I'm going to show you what the different tools are. So the first tool is this pencil. It's a large like kindergarten pencil. You can see I've used it already on the end, but um, so this is the extra large dot. And then we have a normal pencil and it's just a, I say a large dot. Then we have a Q-tip. And what we're gonna do right now, and you can do this with me, is we're gonna pull off the end. Um, we're gonna pull the cotton off one of the ends because one of the ends we will use the cotton tip and the other end we will use um, this other end. So you just keep pulling it off until most of the cotton is off here. So if you wanna do that with me. So here we go. doesn't have to be all the way off. Just make sure the end doesn't have anything fuzzy on it, really, because you're just dipping the very, the very end into your paint. All right, and then so you have two ends on that, and then we have a toothpick. You have a pointy end, and then you have a flat, a little bit bigger end here. So those are our tools for today. Um, and um, a tip about dipping this into the paint, you see it's nice and flat here. When you put it into the paint, you're going to want to just get the very end into the paint. You don't want to dip it in so that you can see I've messed up, but um, you just want to get the very end into the paint like this and see how it's just on the very end so that when you touch and then when you go to touch the ornament, you will um, you will just want to barely have it touch. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Um, so you can see if you if you go more and um, it makes it kind of, like if you do it way too hard, it kind of gets weird. And it's all, also a lot bigger than you might want it to. Um, so you just want the very end to touch and then see you get the wipe and you just wipe it off anytime you use them because that way the paint doesn't build up on there. And if you mess up, like I said before, there's no mistakes. You just wipe it off and you just start over. So it's not a big deal. If some, for some reason you make a dot that you don't like, you just wipe it off. If you smudge it, you can start from scratch, just wipe the whole thing off, it's not a big deal. Um, so if you want, you can practice a little bit. You can practice dipping it in the paint and then there's a piece of paper over here. You can kind of just practice we're gonna be using this extra large one first. So if you wanna just practice a little, you can. And um, a technique you have to, um, you can make a dot and then you have to reapply the paint every time. Because if you don't, either you'll get like splotchy dots or I can show you with um, the toothpick, we'll be using this technique is you dip it in there and then you make a series of dots, one, two, three, and see how they kind of get smaller as you go. And that is a technique, but um, sometimes you want the dots to be the same size, so you would um, reapply the paint each time you do it. But if you want them smaller, like it is over here on this right here, then you would just dip, 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 or dot, dot, dot. Um, okay, so, if you want to take a minute and just kind of um, make some dots on your paper over here, I would only suggest that if you do, that you would replace the paper because sometimes as you're making the ornament, you might get your elbow in there, or your other tools will get in the paint, and then it kind of gets messy. So if you're going to put dots on this paper over here, once you're done kind of messing with it, I would um, replace the paper with a clean one. That way you don't get it on the ornament. All right, for the second step, we're going to take a Q-tip and we're gonna use the end that doesn't have the cotton on it. So you have the cotton on one end and the not cotton. So it's the um, not cotton end and we're gonna use the sparkly green. Which for me, it's right here. So I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna dip it in there. I love it on there. And I'm going to put one at the top, one at the bottom, one on each side is how I'm gonna do it. I'm going to try to get it as close as I can to the ornament without touching it. If you touch it, it's not a big deal. 
And then after I get it, you can turn it too if you want. It's easier. I'm right-handed, so I like to come at it from the right side. I just, it seems to be easier. So you kind of keep turning it like this. And then just put it in the middle of each of those dots. Oops, see, I messed up a little bit there. It's not a big deal. I'll just take a wipey. And I still even wipe this off so that um, I know it's made out of paper, but I still wipe it off. It's not, it doesn't have to come all the way off, but I do that just because I'll reuse that as well. Um, I'll take my wipey here and I'll just wipe that little bit off. It's not a big deal. Um, not a big deal. Anyway, so once you do this, I'll let you pause it again and then uh, we'll come back for the next step. All right, so for the next step, we're gonna use this pencil, the normal pencil, and we're gonna dip it in the red paint. So right here, I'm gonna hold this up so you can see it. We've done the one, two, and then this is the third step right here. So if you need to catch up, this ornament is always sitting right there. If you mess up on the whole thing and you wanna start over, it is not a big deal. So what we're gonna do again is we're gonna put it in between the green dots. Whoops, I touched it, so I'll finish that. And um, see in between the green dots. I don't want to get too close to it because I'm going to fill in some of those gaps um, with some of the silver later on. But each time I um, do it, I want to dip my pencil in the paint. Barely touch it. And some of you might want bigger dots, so you want to push it harder. That's not a big deal either. You know, it's just different styles. It doesn't really matter. All right. So that's the next step is doing the red dots with the pencil. And then I wipe it off when I'm done. All right. You can pause it. Come back when you're ready. So once you've done the red dots, we're gonna do the green ones next, and then we're gonna use the pencil again. So it's not the sparkly green this time, it's the, I call it flat green, but it's just the plain green, whatever you wanna call it. And we're gonna go in between the red dots. I would come out a little bit because we're gonna put some stuff in there, not too much, but you're still going right in between the red dots there. Let me tell you again, if you mess up, you just take the little wipey and you wipe it off. If you mess up the whole thing, you just wipe it off and start over again. It's really not a big deal. But the thing is, if you mess up, most people aren't even gonna notice. Like no one's gonna be like taking a magnifying glass and looking at this. So if the dot's a little wonky, yeah, I just made that one wonky. If it's weird, it's not a big deal. Just enjoy the process. It's fun to do crafts sometimes. It's fun to be with people. That's the whole point of what we're doing anyway. All right, we'll take a little pause here and be back in a minute. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna use the large dot again and we're gonna do sparkly green. So this one right here, sparkly green. That's what we're working on next. And like I said, this one's thinner. So even when you like dip it in there, it kind of pulls up a little bit. Um, you still want to be along the outside of it, but you want to go in between the green dots, the not sparkly green dots. So we'll do that. See, when I pull it up, there's like a little drip on it. So it is, it is thicker. I mean, it's thinner, but it's okay. It's a little drippier, but it's all right. Like what I did there, I just skipped it. That probably bothered some of you. <laughs> I am by no means a perfectionist. It really bothers Philip sometimes. 
but we're a good combination because I make sure stuff gets done quickly and he makes sure it gets done well. So we're really a good team. All right, and there's the last one. So while you guys do that, you can unpause it when you're ready. All right, so the next step we're going to do is we're gonna put this red dot right here in between the sparkly green ones. All right, so we're just gonna kind of line it up with the not sparkly green one there. Go in between the sparkly greens and line it up with that one. That one got a little off center. It's not a big deal. All right, so that's that. So it looks good already, right? I just love how Christmassy it is. I think I got this one off center too a little bit. Well, maybe not. It's not bad. All right, so once you get past that place, just hit play. All right, so now we're gonna go back and fill in some of the spaces. So you see on this one, we're gonna start on the inside and work our way out. So on this one, we're gonna do this green right here. So we use the sparkly green here, and we're gonna do the flat green here, and we're gonna use the flat end of the toothpick, not the pointy end, the flat end. Okay, so you just wanna get the very tip into the paint, and you wanna keep your hands away from the wet paint. Like that, just barely touch it. It's a lot of pressure doing this in front of y'all. It's just me. Doesn't matter. See my hands shaking? If you want to do the other end, you can. I don't think it would really matter. I must have. There you go. Those look a little different, but that's okay. Each one is gonna be unique and different, so even these two will look different, which is kind of fun, right? All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to put in these two dots here in between the red, so we'll do that next. And if you need to pause it, feel free. Just do two dots like that, and I think you can probably get two dots out of each dip here. I can't, I'm, I'm right handed, so that is why I'm turning it because I don't like to come across it because I'm always concerned I'm gonna put my hand in the paint or whatever, so. But if it's hard for you to turn it, then you just do it however you want. All right, so I'll let you catch up and just hit play when you're ready to keep moving. So the next thing we're gonna do is same tool. We're gonna get the green here and we're gonna do these three green dots in between. So that is the not sparkly green, it's just the same green as was done with that. So I did one dot here and two dots here. One dot here, two dots here. And I kind of switched around the dots because you'll notice the first one's a little bit bigger. So that way it's not always the big one on top, but if you want always the big one on top, you can do it that way too. Just. And if the small one bothers you, you can come back in and do it again like that. So it makes it a little bit bigger. Yeah. 
All right. And then the next step, I think we'll go ahead and just keep going. We'll take the same tool, the toothpick, and we're gonna come in and put the little silver dots right here. So it's on the uh, it's in between the sparkly green one and the red dot. So you're just gonna barely get any silver on your thing here. So it's gonna go. Let's see how it did that. Just. And then we'll do it again, the same toothpick, and you'll go on the other side of the two red dots, in between the green right there. And it touches the other paint, just, you know, that's okay. It's just supposed to add a little bit of sparkle to it, right? And at any point, if you're like, I don't really want to do that, it's not a big deal. You don't have to. It's your ornament. You can kind of do whatever you want. Now we're going between the red and the green dot here. We're just going to stick with silver. If you're like, my hand shakes too much, I don't want to mess it up, then don't do it. It's just whatever you want to do, really. Oh, did I go all the way around? That was so quick. All right, so that is that for the silver. And then we'll take a break and then we'll move to the next step. All right, believe it or not, we only have two more steps left. So we're going to take our Q-tip and we're gonna use the cottony side and we're gonna dip it in the red and you kinda wanna get some on there, like kinda make it nice and wet like this. And then, I don't like how that is on the end there. That little bit's gonna, okay. So we're gonna do three dots and they'll get progressively smaller. You kinda press less as you go too. So it's one, two, three. And then you'll redip. And on this one, you do want to make sure you're like kind of facing it because I've done it before when I was practicing and it kind of goes down this way or it goes down this way. So you kind of do want to make sure you're at a good angle so you can see that it's just going straight down. This one got a little bit close, but it's okay. All right, oh, I missed one. All you guys already probably noticed that. I missed that one. <laughs> All right, here we go, this last one, two, three. Okay, and I don't love how that one turned out, so I might redo that one. All right, when you catch up, hit play. All right, and the last step we're gonna do here is we're gonna take, you have to be careful where you're putting your fingers now. We're gonna take the silver and we're gonna put one dot at the top and we're gonna go one, two, three. And we're gonna do that all the way around. One, two, three, four. Make sure you don't touch the red. And again, you want to kind of be on top of it because it gets like funky if you don't turn it and you don't realize, oh, I'm not exactly on top of that one. I was kind of to the side of it. It's not a big deal, but I know some of you are perfectionists. 
and want it just so, and that's okay. And I am trying to stay fairly close to the edge because it kind of looks cool when it's right there on it. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to, can you see my thing over here? I'm going to dot it here first and then I'm going to go two, three, four. Dot. One, two, three. See, because what happens is that big one will be the same size as the other one, and that might look a little funny. Did I dot it? I can't remember. So I'm just doing three dots on this side. My first dot is over there. Instead of one, two, three, four, I'm just doing one, two, three. So one. So that's that, and I believe that is the last step.